Good morning, guys. This is Teresa. Welcome back to our channel. Um, today, Eric wants me to just show you all um, some of the prep stuff that I do to get us ready for um, <clears throat> our... Well, we don't eat until 12, so it's actually our breakfast. But um, anyway, um, just hello to everybody. Um, just want to let you know uh, we appreciate everybody being a part of the TNT community. Those of you that um, are new to our channel, we welcome you. Those that are not, we are thankful for you. And uh, we appreciate you very much. And uh, we ask that you hit the like button to this video. Subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of good stuff that we're looking forward to doing. We just give God thanks and praise for this beautiful day that he has made. And thanks to everybody for watching. And right now what I'm going to do is, um, before I start... Uh, and I always like to make up my water. I like to have me water in the sink when I um, cook because I'm, I'm one of those cooks that I, um, I clean as I go. How many like to clean as you go? Ooh, I can't stand up. Ugh. Ooh. I don't like dirty. I just don't like, I just like cleanliness. With the old folks say, cleanliness is next to godliness. That's what they say, ain't it? Well, I like uh, clean stuff, so. I'm making up me some water here, and uh, I'm the type of person too. Uh, let me tell y'all about Teresa. <clears throat> I'm very strange. If anybody know me, know I'm very strange. But hey, that's me. Um, I don't. I don't like to use dishwashers. Y'all pray for me. I just like to. Uh, I like washing my dishes by hand. Uh, now I don't have anything against anybody that. Um, uses your dishwasher. Please know I'm not against anybody using their dishwasher. I just don't use mine. Um, and there's no reason, I guess, I just don't, I just don't do dishwashers. I just like to wash my own dishes. But anywho, with that being said, what I'm about to do now is just prep some things, um, for us to have this morning we're going to have actually i got the wrong thing out i don't want to get this spring mix um i gotta wash um well i've already washed and cleaned my um bell peppers but i gotta wash my um mushroom and i'm gonna wash my spinach let me get my spinach out where is the spinach where is the spinach where did it go where did he go? Somewhere. Somewhere. I got the spinach. There she is. So, um, okay. All right. So, I got my spinach. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash my um, bell pepper. I mean, my um, mushrooms. But what we're having today is I'm going to do... Um, because I do the um, high protein, I'm gonna cook, cook us some, uh, I'm gonna use my ninja foodie here. Let me show my, um, this is my ninja foodie that um, Taylor bought me this. I call him Taylor, y'all, but his name is Eric. Um, but he bought me this when I had my heart transplant. And so, um, so that I could just start eating healthy. And um, when I tell you that, that thing, I love it. I love it, I love it. Um, if you've never had a ninja foodie, these things are lifesavers. Let me um, show you. It's got like the grilled tips. Um, and uh, in other words, it tells you like if you if you want to grill sausage or a burger or chicken, it, it's on here for you. The time and all that kind of stuff. And it has all. Of, ooh, that's that should have been clean. Then it's not. Okay, well we'll clean that. But it has different compartments. This is like for your air. When you're air frying, you um, you know, put your, your food in there to air fry. But anyway, um, so I'm thankful for that. And we're gonna put the grilled chicken in that. And I'll do grilled chicken and then I'll do like an egg scramble. I use um egg whites and I'll scramble up um the mushrooms and we'll have spinach in it and bell peppers. And you're talking about good. And then um, Taylor, he likes to put um, he likes to put salsa on top of his eggs uh, scram scrambler. And then he'll he'll get a piece of toast and put that avocado, um, not avocado, but 
the uh, guacamole that I was telling you all about, he likes to put that guacamole on his toast with the complete seasoning. And then that'll be our, um, that's our breakfast. That's what we'll have for breakfast. And it usually runs about, I'll show you all when I get done. I think it usually runs about, well, let me get my app. Uh, I'll have to get my app and show you. But I think it's about maybe two, 276 calories for everything, if, 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 not, if I'm not um, incorrect. But I'll show you all once, uh, once I get it done and everything. But I just want to show you guys, and I'm going to get ready to start prepping this. And once I prep everything, then I get back and show you. See you in a little bit. No. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I'm about to, um, I want to show you guys how I cut up this, uh, these, um, <clears throat> mushrooms. Uh, I'm going to use my emerald. I don't know if you all can see this. But I'm going to use my emerald. Um, I love it so much. Uh, my emerald knife, um, set here and cut these up. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get this stuff cut up real fine to go in the scrambler. I don't know if I can show y'all me doing this while I'm cutting it up, but I just cut this up, you know, real fine to go in, you know, enough to go into the scrambler for us. And um, I weighed it out. And what I do, I get, I got like three cups. I got three cups of spinach, three cups of um bell, um, I mean three cups of mushrooms, and uh, I put. And then what I do, I uh, we split it up, calorie wise, we split this up. And so I do three of three mushrooms, three cups of mushroom, three cups of uh, spinach, and then three cups of um bell peppers. I'll show you. And then I just split that up in our scrambler, and we, we divide that between us two. And that's what we have. Now, occasionally, our daughter Kristen will want to come in and, <laughs> and eat with us if she doesn't have something else that she's meal prepped for herself. Because she likes to meal prep her meals for the week. She starts on Sunday and meal prep her stuff. So, um, but she hasn't said anything today about eating with us, so... This will just be for me and Taylor here. So, but anywho, but um, we just thank the Lord for this day. Glad to uh, be on Face, or not FaceTime, but glad to be on YouTube, just showing you guys, uh, you know, what we're what we're doing. I mean, we're just really trying to just change this whole lifestyle, this way of eating. You know, we it, it's amazing how we can we love the Lord and. You know, we say we love the Lord and we want to be obedient to Him. Well, you know, taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. Uh, all of this is a part of loving the Lord. And so I'm just thankful that, uh, you know, our mindset has changed and this is what we want to do. And so, but anywho, I'm going to cut these up and, and uh, get this ready. I just want to show you guys this part right here. Next, I'm going to do the bell peppers. I'll, um... Uh, show you just a few of these and the way I cut my bell peppers. Um, let me just rinse these. I, I've already cleaned them once, but I just wanted to wash them again. Wash, wash, wash. You know, it's amazing to me with this pandemic, uh, if you are already a clean person and believe in cleaning your food or cleaning your hands, you know, this this should be nothing new to us, nothing new. This should have been something that we were doing all along, ensuring that we were being clean, you know, about ourselves. And so now just the extra precaution shouldn't be anything. It shouldn't come as a surprise. It just should be something that you that's naturally because you've already been doing it. But anywho, let me show you um my uh, bell peppers. Move this right to the side like this. And let's see, I can't, I don't know if I can show y'all this, but I'm going to try. Okay, but I, I just thin them, I cut them real thin, and then I just, 
you know, maybe. Hold on one minute. Oops. Oops. I did that. No, did I do that? <laughs> Y'all remember, uh, what was his name? Um, Urkel, did I do that? I dropped the camera. But anywho, uh, I was trying to show you guys how I cut these uh, cute uh, bell peppers up. But it's just a, just a thin slice. I'll show you once I get them cut up how I did them. And you, you can get the gist of what I'm talking about. Because my hands, I don't really want to touch no camera. And I'm trying to cook too. I told y'all I'm, I'm real funny. Really, 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 really funny about stuff like that. So, anywho, Jesus Bill Spence. Let's see here what these look like. Okay, I'm going to try to show y'all this, and then this going to be okay. But I just cut them up, you know, thin like that. And so I do, I'm going to do the, uh, I'll do the orange ones, the red ones. I already got yellow. I'll do orange Mm, yeah, orange and red probably to mix with this yellow. Those are the three that we'll have today. So anyway, but let me finish these. And then once I put my, I want to show you all my chicken going into the Ninja Foodie. I want to show you that. So hold your horses one second, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back. I've done the, I've got the spinach breaded, the uh, mushrooms and the bell peppers. Now um, we're going to do this grilled chicken. And I'm going to season it up. I'm going to turn my um, foodie on here to the grill setting. And uh, let's see if y'all can, I can get this so y'all can see. I'm fixing it. Turn it on to the grill setting here. If you all can, yeah, you can see that. Um, I'm going to do it the grill on high, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, I've got my grill and everything set, and so I'm going to go ahead on and hit close it up, and I'm going to hit the start button, and it's going to preheat, and once it preheat, <clears throat> once it preheat, it'll um, alert me to add my food, and that's when I add the grilled chicken in. But I want to show you all. Turn this thing this way. I want to show you all. Uh, let's see if I forgot to get my seasoning here. All my seasoning that I'm going to use. Uh, I'll show you these. What I've got here. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see. One more thing here. Two more things. Three more things. <laughs> I learned um, this is a shout out to um, Gina, Cooking with Gina on YouTube. Um, Gina Young, she always says if you want um, some good food, you have to make sure that your food is seasoned well. And so um, I just put a lot of seasoning on here. But I, I like to get seasons that don't have like salt in them. No salt. Uh, as much as possible, I try to find seasons that have either no salt, low salt. That's what I look for. Um, like this onion powder, there's no salt in it. Of course, my very uh, favorite, I love uh, parsley. Parsley makes your food look so pretty. Um, I got some um, paprika here that we're going to use, some garlic powder, paprika. I'm going to put some salt free dish dash on it, black pepper, of course. Um, I'm going to use a uh, little of this poultry seasoning. Now, it does have a little sodium in it, 105 milligrams for um, a teaspoon. So that's about all I try to use. And then this is my all-time favorite season. I put this in everything. I put it in absolutely everything that I could. This right here, complete season. Complete season. I love it. Um, they didn't have, when I went to the store the previous time, they didn't have the um, brand that I used. So I ended up getting this one. 
but when we went to the store um, the other day, I found my brand. And of course, it's adorable. <laughs> adorable. Adorable Complete Season. This is like, this is it. This is my favorite season. It's complete. It puts it all in there for you. But anywho, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead on and um, season up this chicken. I like to start. I have a system here. So let me get my system together. I just I just go down the go down the line and put my seasoning on. I start with my complete seasoning on both of them. And I put a little um <clears throat> so I can get this off. A little poultry seasoning. I don't use much poultry seasoning. And then I put a little onion powder. I, I use my parsley face. I, I put those last. That's the last thing I put on. Parsley face and my um, pepper. Those are the last two things. Garlic powder. I put a little extra garlic powder because that's my beauty and I like garlic powder. Okay, and uh, a little loose dash. We're gonna dash a little loose dash. Some black pepper. Okay. All right, that side. And then I forgot to get my um, pork. And then what I do, put a little on. Like I say, I'm gonna put some. Put a little paprika on here. A little parsley flakes, make it pretty. And then I flip it over and do the same thing again. Because see, it's going on the grill. And I want both sides to get um, flavored and seasoned. So I put a little complete seasoning on both of them. Again, okay, once again, we're going through the same ritual. Hold the seasoning. That onion powder, garlic powder. Once again, this is my business now. Let me do it. All right, mm -hmm. all right. So, Miss Dash, we're going to dash her again. I'm going to put a little black pepper on here. All right. Now, one thing I do want to add I do put a little, 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 little. Just a tad of seasoning salt. Just just a little bit. The seasoning salt is high in sodium. So I don't put it on both sides. I put just a little. On it, okay? Like that. Like that, okay? Like so like that. It's, it's, it's tad, 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 like so like that. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, put that on there. And then my cap with all right, so we set for the grill now. We are ready for the grill, and it's almost time to add the food. Little signal, or a little um, notification for me to add the food. But uh, I always, while I'm waiting on that, sometimes I just wipe my food back off again. Before I place it back up, I put it, put everything back where you found it, Teresa. That's what my mama told me. She always taught me. There's a place for everything. Put everything in this place. That's what my mom taught me. So when you're done with it, put it back. Put it back, Teresa said. I'm gonna put everything back where it was prior. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna put this back up, y'all. And then what I'm gonna do when it says add the food, I'm gonna pour a little of this canola oil. There's zero calories, there's absolutely nothing in this absolutely nothing serving size is the fourth uh second spray so just just enough to to do the grill and you want to put that on there and put the uh put our chicken in okay all right so now all right i think that's um when it when it when it alerts me i'll let you guys know hold one second Okay, guys, it just alerted me to um, add the food. Let me show you. See, it says add food. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add food, okay? Let me show you all. 
see, this is the, ooh, this grill is hot. This is the grill. And when you're counting calories like we are, I use this um, Pam uh, No Stick Cooking Spray Olive Oil. And for, you get um, five sprays for 10 calories. So we're just going to spray in here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Like that so, like so, like that. And we're going to put our chicken in. Mm, 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 mm. And I think I'm going to just spray just a couple sprays on, on the chickens when I put it in here. Show you all once I put it in. What uh, what it looks like. Okay, so let me show y'all what it looks like. That's the chicken, the grilled chicken on the grill. Okay, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna close it up. And it says 10 minutes it's going to cook 10 minutes i don't cook it for 10 minutes i cook it about eight minutes because i found that about after eight minutes it's um this camera don't want to be right after about eight um eight minutes it's good enough so that's how long i cook it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to get ready to do our eggs and bell pepper and mushrooms and all of that good stuff in the spinach, okay? So let's get our, um, I don't know if you guys can see right here. I don't know about this tripod, I just don't know about it. But anyway, we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get, uh, things cooking here. So I'm gonna spray my sprays. Put two in the mouth of that. Um, okay, so now I'm going to get ready to put all of my, I'm going to let it heat up just a little bit. And then I'll put my um, all my veggies in and get them sauteed real good. And then after a little bit, after I've sauteed them a little, then I'll put um, my spinach in and mix it all together. And then my egg whites. Let me show you all what um, eggs. Egg. Do you want the liquids or you want the egg makers too? Okay, let me show you all. You want some of these? I did not get those out. So this is what we use in place of the eggs. These are egg makers. So three tablespoons is 25 calories. So what I usually do, I do six tablespoons, and that's 50 calories. And then um, Taylor, he likes the um, egg whites, and it's three tablespoons, 25 calories. And so sometimes he, like today for instance, he wants me to mix it. So I do three of the egg whites, and then I do three of the egg whites. Okay, so that's how we do that. What I normally do, since I'm just mixing it all up together for the both of us, I'll just, um, I'll just do it, just mix it all together. It doesn't matter because we both want to eat, eat it together anyway. So I'm just going to um, get my little measuring spoon out. This is my tablespoon that I use to cook uh, with, for my egg, uh, maple's egg whites and all that good stuff. Three for him, and then three for me. One, two, three. That's it for that. Okay. And then I'm gonna shake these up real good. Shake, 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 shake your egg makers. That's what I'm doing. Oh gosh, you don't want to open it. There we go. Okay. Oh, 
be open now. For him, and three for me. One, two, three. And that's it. And then I'll mix all that up. So while I'm saying all of that, let me get my get all of my vegetables. All of that's in. That's in, guys. And then, once again, while that's sauteing, let me get my famous complete seasoning and put that on my egg. Garlic powder. But that's my piece. Black pepper. Black pepper. Right now, so I can get me a fork. Yeah. Stir those up really good. Really, really good like that. And then just saute it. I'm going to put, of course now, like I said, I'm going to put a little seasoning on my vegetables. A little complete seasoning. A little garlic powder. I just want to season it up a bit. That's all. And believe it or not, y'all, my uh, grilled chicken is almost ready. It is almost ready. It's almost done. It certainly is. Let these um, saute on up a little bit more. Get our um, now I I do I do wash dishes, but. These right here are what we'll be using this morning. Right here. Quarantine. This is what I've been doing. <laughs> we'll use these right here. Got them from Sam's. They're very sturdy. Very sturdy. And so I'll use these to, to place the food in once it's done. And I can just stirring it up. Sauteing it real good. I'm going to do that a little while longer. Just a minute or two. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the spinach in there. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and place our spinach in there. And if you know spinach, it cooks down to nothing. It withers down. It withers on down. Um, put all this stuff back up. Yep, my chicken is almost done, guys, and I'm going to show you all. Yep. Spinach is wiggling on down here to quick. Just tossing it. If y'all can see it, let me show you. Just tossing it in the, in the pan. Just tossing it in the pan. Just gonna let it work on down. And I'll just keep tossing it in the pan. All right, guys. Great. Now we're gonna put our <clears throat> we're gonna put our um egg makers just a little of this oil in the pan just a little. 
Okay, now we're gonna put our egg makers in here. And just mix it all, scramble it all up. And we get ready to eat. We are getting ready to eat. Let that come together. Alrighty, 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 scrambling on up. Y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that chicken. It's still. So we're gonna go ahead on and <clears throat> go ahead on and get it out. Wow, my eggs. Look at that. Grilled. 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 Mmm, 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 mmm. My, my, my. My, 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 my. You know, we, we eat egg scramblers at least three times a week. This is like, this is our go-to. To me, it's just something, um, it's flavorful, it's quick, it's easy. Um, you know, because a lot of times I'll, uh, I'll prep the night before, um, but I just want to show you all how I do it. But um, a lot of times I'll prep the night before and put it, you know, in a container, then just get up and just basically just put the grilled chicken in the um, foodie, and that's it, you know. All right, the egg scramblers are ready. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready. show you all these are the plates this is the finished product that's your grilled chicken and your scrambler give mr. Eric Taylor his plate and I'll take mine <laughs> and uh, we're getting ready to uh, to go in to dive into this and see what it tastes like for you guys baby you ready Well, we're going to get ready to um, taste this, and uh, I'll let you guys, okay, I'll let y'all guys, I'll let y'all see what, uh, I'll tell you what it tastes like. Hold on one minute. Let me get my, um, let me get my plate. Oh, I got to get your salsa for you, Donna. Yep, I got to get his salsa, guys. So, Kristen didn't want what we wanted today. Oh, okay. You wanted something different. No problem. Okay. All right. Well, um, let me get his salsa and and everything else that he needs, and I'll get right back in with you. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, guys. We're at the table, and we're getting ready to um eat our breakfast this is our breakfast for today um so we, taylor's gonna do our little prayer and we're gonna um taste this food for you guys precious lord we thank you god for the thank food you, we're about to receive thank let you, it be lord. nourishment for thank our body you. we ask that you sanctify it purify it and make it holy we thank you for all things god yes, we thank lord. you for this opportunity to see your people father god we thank you for um my wife who prepared the meal let it do us no harm but in jesus name we do pray amen amen let it do us no harm, but uh, the food. But, no, but what you said, but, but all what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Huh? But what? <laughs> but but let's enjoy. Okay. Great. 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 Um. Well, it's twelve o'clock, and I need to take my medicine, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, but but will you um? You need to open that to go in there. And this is y'all for the salsa. You get what is it, baby? Two, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons is 10 calories. So like I told y'all, we use this a lot. So we'll do the salsa, uh, measuring the salsa with this. Okay. One of these days, you're not going to see my stomach. You don't see it all. <laughs> <laughs> but for right now, it's going to be all right. Because, oh, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm working on it. Hey, but I did want to say one thing. My wife was preparing this meal. Um... And, and she forgot that I had told her that me and my middle daughter, who's right there, we're getting ready to go vegan. That's what I didn't want to tell y'all the other day. I wanted him to be the one. Because, you know, he always said, Teresa, do something about that thing between your nose and your chin, which is this. Do something about that. That was, ten, that was about 17 years you ago when we first tell got me. married. You still tell but me. But anyway. Anywho. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so, because, um, you know, with this lifestyle change and we're, we're, I'm moving more, I'm getting healthy, I'm losing weight, you know, my daughter's losing weight, um, we wanted to step it up a notch. And then we figured, you know, we don't eat much meat anyway, so we were looking at Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. Tabitha Brown. Tabitha. Y'all don't eat yeah, much meat. I don't, I, I don't watch all these people, but I did enjoy Tabitha Brown's videos. And I seen where she did the 30-day vegan challenge. So it, it interests me. So that's what we're going to try because my wife does not eat. She only eats a certain chicken and rice. That's all she eats. No matter where we go, we go to the seafood, chicken and rice. Chinese food, chicken and rice. Ain't a hoop. We can go to Subway, chicken and rice. <laughs> so that's all she ah, eats. All that's her, all right. For the 20 years we've been married, that's, that's all, all she right. eats. Oh, that's all but right. anyway. That's all. Okay. But we're going to, um, but anyway, we, yeah. that'll be another video. And I'm going to tell yeah, you man. more about it. But right now, you know, I was watching Tamara and she was on Tabitha. Tabitha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am, if I keep messing <laughs> up your name. I, I don't mean anything. Tabitha, Just say I you're really not like you. With names, cause you really it, aren't. I'm not, and that's my business. That's right. oh. <laughs> oh. What? Mm. But okay. anyway, I saw a video and she talked about hum hummus, and I I'm gonna try. I tried it yesterday, me and my daughter, and um, it was good. It was hot, and it had some after effects. But you know, hey, <laughs> I'm here to try it again, and I'm oh. also gonna try these um these wraps, these extreme wraps. Well, you it's know, not like the first. We eat those all the time. That's just a different. Brand. But I just, I just, I, mean, I just like them. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and eat. You know, nothing talking. I'm gonna sell them again. There's a, I think there's a lot of salt in these things. There's two, there's two, two twenty calories. Oh my goodness! It's five hundred and sixty milligrams of salt. Uh -uh, so I guess I'll be eating one. But that just knocks my salt out intake out the box. So I won't be eating a whole lot of these. But anyway, I'm going to eat it today. Okay, what I'm going to taste is this scramble. Mm. I really enjoy when my wife uses that foodie because um, she's got it down. So when she um, grills the chicken, it really comes out real good. And, um, and, and, and the more she's um, conscious about what we're putting into these temples, the better the Lord um, gives her the, the, the insight to make these meals. You know, anything you love, you do it well. Right. And, and, and she loves me and I love her. Mm -hmm. So, um. I'm going to do like first lady do. I'll pass the wine <laughs> when she, she likes to eat it. When, she, when it's good, good. She moves baby. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is our middle daughter, Kristen. Now, she 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 will be more into this, but she's babysitting. You know, we have a little, like I said, it's our whole life. This is Grand Central Station. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, it, this is <laughs> very good, isn't it? This chicken, y'all, do y'all see? Look how easy it look. I think she's getting off the subject because she's been asking for a bigger, uh, bigger house, and you know the Lord is gonna do that. You know. Y'all, we get ready to move. And and that's just the first move. We're moving because of, <laughs> okay, we're moving. But um, after we do move, we're going to stay there until we get what we want. We get a house. It's about time. We're old enough to afford a house, to get a house. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye because I'm not ashamed to let you see me eat, but I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to have to talk to anybody. Well, I'm going to say something. Say goodbye, but... Today is not my um, bread day. Y'all, I struggle with carbs. And one of the, uh, I, I said that to my doctor. And one of the nurses said, well, who don't st uh, struggle with carbs? But, you know, there's good carbs and there's bad carbs. But I'm thankful for the app that we use, my Fitness Pal app, that kind of keeps me, um, it keeps me in line with you know how many carbs I'm intaking on a daily basis. But um, we've got a friend. His name is um, he, well, actually he's the elder in our church, uh, Elder Andrew Fields, and he was over to the house and, and we were talking, and, and and my husband was telling him that you know I was I'm all up in you know array about all of these carbs, and he's like, tree it may not even be carbs. It could be something else, and so. I spoke with the dietitian and she sent me this um, this uh, menu. And in the menu, it just had, you know, different things. And one of the things she said I was doing wrong, y'all, was that I was so worried about carbs, I wasn't worried about my protein. So she gave me a diet that consisted of high protein, high fats, and low carbs. And I've been doing that. And when I tell you I've seen the difference, I have seen a difference. And so, um, but speaking of back to the bread thing, I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. I do love bread, but bread is, it just don't love me. So with that being said, so, um, Taylor, he was like, well, baby, won't you just try eating bread maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? So I said, okay, we could try that. So I started out, and then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I tried it. Then I wanted some thirst. And then when Sunday come, I really have to. You... <laughs> oh, oh, where that supposed to be, babe? A burrito. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if this doesn't. I, I... I might apply for a job at Taco Bell. You never know. I can roll it. Well, you you kind of got it. They'll work with you with what you have. You kind of got it. I know. I can. I'm gonna learn. But anywho, back to my bread. So um, I tried the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then I, had, you know, Sundays with my collard greens. Oh Lord, I love collards, but I like to eat mine with cornbread. And so he was like, well. So Elder Fields, he was open. He's like, well, won't you try this? Won't you try Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday? So I've been trying this Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So of course today is Wednesday. What is today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Duh. Today Bible is study Tuesday. Day. Bible study day. So I can't um I can't have bread today. Otherwise I would have a piece with my breakfast. But it's not my bread day, so I won't have any bread today. Um I'll have some tomorrow though. I don't know what I'll be eating, but I'll have some bread. But I just wanted to say uh y'all pray for me, pray with me. Pray with me that I um, can just really, my goal, my long-term goal is to really just give up bread altogether. Some people don't eat bread at all. Like my mom, she doesn't really, she's not a bread eater. She'll eat all around the bread. she tear the edges off of it. And now I want all of the bread. Well, lately I do, I have noticed that sometimes I'll take the edges off of the bread. If you're a person that um, take your edges off your bread, put it in the comment section if you prefer the edges versus uh, not having the edges. I would like to know how many people. Yeah, I come from the old school. We, had, when, when I was coming up, we had to eat everything. We ate the end bread, the crust of the bread. Even tried to eat the bag of the and bread, see, but we had a, to eat. We didn't have no choice. <laughs> and that's another thing. I don't like end bread, but I like bread, but I won't eat the end of the bread. But anywho, the bread is the bread. Anyway, but anyway, I, I'm gonna let you all go, and uh, we're gonna finish our breakfast. Um, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
channel, like our videos. We are so thankful for those that have already subscribed to the TNT community. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you. Uh, we just look forward to what the Lord is going to do through us and with us and for us as far as this, this channel is concerned. It's about our whole life. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure by now most of you all know that we are uh, Christians. We're believers. However you want to say it, we love the Lord. Yes, we do. We don't mind sharing him with the world. Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day, we all need a relationship with Jesus Christ. Why, Teresa? Because Jesus is the answer for the world today. So with that being said, I'm going to let you all go and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, Tabitha loves to say, if you can't have a good day, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's. Please don't mess up uh, people's day. Amen. You have a good day and let other people try to have a good one as well. We love you all. Thanks again. Don't forget to, sus to subscribe to our channel. Like it. And we'll see you all the next time in the next video. Bye.